My name is Stephanie Reynolds and I'm the founder of the Christian Writers Cooperative and it is my pleasure to be with you this week for our Week in Review. This covers the blogs that were posted on our website from May 18th through May 24th. I really mean it when I say it's a pleasure to be back with you because last Sunday, May 17th, I was too distracted by my car being stolen from my driveway to uh, write anything, to post of this video blog, and uh, like I said, I'm just really happy to be here this week. Uh, the proverb that I've selected for our wisdom study of the week this week is Proverbs 23 verses 17 through 18. And I'm going to read that for you now. It says, don't allow the actions of evil men to cause you to burn with anger. Instead, burn with unrelenting passion as you worship God in holy awe. Your future is bright and filled with a living hope that will never fade away. And that is Proverbs 23, verses 17 and 18 from the Passion Translation. Uh, what I wrote for this wisdom study are these words. There are strong words in today's passage that paint vivid images in our minds and imaginations. In my mind, I see myself burning with unrelenting passion to successfully launch the CWC. I've said it many times before, but it bears repeating. This is not just a business to me. It's my ministry to help fund the God-given dreams of 100 Christians and to share the good news with millions of people. This is my act of worship as I burn with unrelenting passion in holy awe of El Shaddai, Jehovah, Eya Asher Eya. My ongoing prayer is that the Lord would use the CWC to magnificently glorify himself until Jesus comes. I thank God that I haven't wasted the precious time he's given me by allowing the actions of evil men to cause me to burn with anger. Instead, I've allowed their business activities to inspire me to create a more Christ-like business model. This model guarantees that our 100 writers will share the profits earned by the CWC, not just the two owners of a book publishing corporation. And in parentheses I have, see the May 12th, 2020 Wisdom Study for more information about the best-selling book series that the CWC is modeled after. And that's the end of the parentheses. Speaking of God's precious gift of time, I think it's time for me to close this wisdom study for today. I need to write a letter to my favorite radio preacher. Recently, someone asked me, if everyone you asked said yes to sharing their testimony in Jesus Can Give You a New Life, that's our first book, <laughs> who would you ask first? I'm going to write that person right now. Please pray that my snail mail letter would make it past all of the gatekeepers of this busy pastor teacher and into his hands. Also, pray that he would say yes to this Holy Spirit inspired request. Thank you so much for your prayers. I'll keep you posted on the outcome. But before I go, let me ask you a similar question. Whose testimony would you like to see and read in Jesus Can Give You a New Life? The CWC's first book. It's scheduled for release on October 8th, 2020. 
I look forward to reading your replies in the comments section. Thanks in advance for sharing. And I just signed Stephanie, of course. So again, thanks in advance for sharing your comments to this uh, video blog and for letting us know who you'd like to see in our first book. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to forget to thank you for praying for favor on my request to my favorite radio preacher. Thanks and goodbye.